Hello and welcome back to another episode of Forts. We're going to be showing off another weapon in the uh, Tanya's mod. Well, Tanya's mod's got a lot of weapons and a lot of fun to be had. And uh, this one's one of my favorites, one that I've done a video on relatively recently. And this one's going to be on the mortar. A mortar weapon, that's one of my favorites. And it's a... Uh, it's got something in it that makes it exciting. The uh, upgraded mortar for Tanya's mod doesn't actually give it any more power. All it does is change the mortar so it fires forward instead of, well, upward as normal mortars do. And in order to, uh, it, it, it makes them a lot, a lot more like they used to be. Because back when Forts was first released, back when we used a lot of mortars for absolutely everything, the one thing that made them very powerful is that you could angle them forward, that way instead of firing up, they, they fire directly at your opponent, and then that made them extremely powerful, because there's a whole lot less time to react to them. Uh, the AA doesn't work nearly as well when they're not in the air, or also when they're not coming directly at you, or let's say, uh, when they're not, when they're coming directly at you, I'm sorry, instead of when they're coming from above, as most of the guns like to shoot up, and, and so it, it makes it really difficult to deal with and we're going to be showing our opponent just how difficult that is to deal with what I'm going to do is build them right out front here and over here so I'm going to be doing a build very similar to the uh, standard mortar rush build out one tiny one here and then a whole box let's go with a whole box over here so lean forward. There we are. And I'll have the rest of the mortars in there. So I'll set up standard mortars at this position. Just to get into one of those. Let's get our upgrade center going. Normally I'd want to put the mortars down first. But because we want to go for the upgraded mortars, I want to have those ready to go just as soon as we can. Our opponent is already expanding up there, and the way he built his base makes me think he's going to swarm missiles, which could be a minor concern. Build our mortars right here. These will be upgraded twice in order to get the horizontal firing. And I'm going to have another set right up over here, which will not be upgraded twice. I'll be upgraded just once, or perhaps to start off, none at all. That way we can get mortar suppression from all angles. My favorite kind of mortar suppression. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I can build another one right here. Let's build up here. So my opponent is building a wind turbine up there, which is kind of concerning. Uh, oh, why would you build a wind turbine up there? This here. Completely seal these in. Upgrade these. Get some wooden doors on this because they're cheap. Double brace this. Upgrade these. Put these on hotkey 2. And they are ready to fire. So these actually have a, a lot of fire out of them. 83% on these is not 83% in vanilla. And we just completely wiped out that. If I was concerned about that wind turbine there, it's, it's not there anymore. So let me go ahead and decrease the the fire on these. Still about just about full angle, but let me go down to 61%. There we go. That's the shot I want. 63%. Full angle. Set these on three. And just refire those. Boom. That's some damage. Yeah, his his there's not even time here. This is what made them powerful. Because these are not more powerful than the uh, vanilla ones, but what made them so much powerful back, and the reason why they had to get nerfed and not allowed to have this kind of lower angle, it's just because there's no time to react to it. As this door can't open in time for this for these mortars to get across. It, it was just broken. And honestly, I really do miss it. It's, it's very difficult to deal with. You have to use Abbott. Oh, right. Ah, uh, he's got a velocity increase. So I need to decrease this by a lot. Let's try 39%. Alright, he's building this. So let me get some uh, light wood spam to protect them and then rebuild with these gunners. 
Uh, where did you land? Did you land on something important? You did! Alright, we can upgrade you now. Very nice. We are really leaning forward here. Which is kind of concerning. Alright, let's add a door, and a door, and a door. There we go. Lock this off. On. Put you back. Uh, you do not have... There, now we can deal damage from all sides. Focus fire, that's a lot of mortarage. You ready for the final strike? One and two, let's go. Boom. Synchronized fire for the win. Those are the horizontal mortars. And those make me so happy. I like these. And we're off to round two to test out the horizontal mortars, and this time we're playing it on hang time, the one map where mortars really don't work very well, unless they're horizontal. So let's go ahead and work up toward the tech tree, work up to our favorite weapons, the horizontal mortars. I like these a lot. It's it's just like the old days. It makes me so happy. When it's back when I could just take a mortar make it go horizontal, and then th just throw them at the enemies just as long as I wanted. That it's, it's just, it's, to be able to do that again makes me very happy. <sighs> Alright, so I want to put mortar, mortar, mortar. have wind turbines here. He's expanding out the back, and I am not. I just intend to keep this base just about the way it is now. If I do any expansions, it'll be down and for additional mortar placements. Let me expand out a little bit, just to add a little extra space to play with here. I'm gonna save up for the tech center, the upgrade center next. This one will go right here. You will be building additional mines. I'm not interested in such economic advances when I have mortars to build. I do need to keep up the energy production though. Mortars are they're, they're, they're pretty energy hungry. But two is enough to start us off for now. So mortar will go here and here. And can I slide this right in there? No, not quite. So it'll have to be right here. Come on, come on. There we go. Much better. Background brace that, actually, foreground brace that. There we go. It is actually possible to use vanilla unmodded mortars on this. I can slide them in here, add a little divot on the front, and have them fire out the top. And you can get a little bit of an angle out of it. It's not great. But you can cleave off the front of the base, which is kind of nice. It's useful in combination with other weapons. But we won't be, uh, we won't be using other weapons right now. Right now. We're going for the horizontal mortars. Let's do this, and this, and this. Got the background bracing, upgrade these, add another wind turbine up here. And prepare to fire. I think 80% is probably pretty good here. Yep, yep, that's decent. I uh, could use a little bit less. Actually, I, I built these to... I was thinking I was just going to build vanilla mortars there, but I don't want to build vanilla mortars there. I want to build these modded ones. Horizontal mortars. There we go. If we can cut connection to those top three, then we can actually get some serious damage done. Because once you lose connection to your mines, then, uh, well, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced, you can't repair without resources, meaning you just kind of have a really bad time. So right now, he's got to deal with these is he's about to lose access to a lot of his goodies. And there go three of his mines. So he's only got two mines right now, which is not good for him. It's really not good for him at all. And I'm just going to keep ramping up the damage with additional mortars. There you go. So I actually destroyed one of them, which is only going to make his life even more difficult. 
I'm managing to keep up with the energy production. Starting to run a little bit low on the, uh, the metal production here. And I am just going to keep refiring at that position. It's He can repair it, he can rebuild it, but it costs him quite a bit to do so. Okay, with the commander ability active, we can now gain enough resources to really boost ourselves ahead. And allow us to build that third mortar without too much of a concern. Alright, so I'll hold off and fire in the second group until I can get a additional... Well, until I can get the third mortar in there. And just keep refiring these. Alright, so now... Is this ready to group? I need to upgrade him one more time, I think, I believe. Yes, I do. And he's managing to outwood spam it for the moment. He hasn't rebuilt his, uh, he has not yet rebuilt his mine. And that's going to be a real bad time for him because, well, we just got the second array here, which needs to be modified. Yes. Now, he's going to lead a little bit more than just wood spam in order to maintain his defense against this now. All right, so let's bring this down to 90%. Oh, that's better. I actually want to bring this down just a little bit. Let's bring it down to 72%. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good hit. It actually jostled. I don't know what blew up. It's probably a battery. But it jostled around his base just enough just from receiving the impact of these mortars jostled it around just enough to have the internal structures, probably a battery, cause it to hit the wall, or the ceiling in this case, detonate and decent damage to his core. And that's what happened there. And at this point, I really don't have to do much but hang on these two refire keys, just back and forth. Because every time this top one fires, he's going to disconnect his mines, or at least deal some damage to it. And every time the bottom set fires, it's going to deal damage to the rest of his base. And it's going to slowly grind him down. If I really wanted to, I could even add on more. Let's make it even more difficult for him to deal with. i use the commander ability here to get access to more resources. Let's go ahead and up upgrade this one, because it'll upgrade pretty quickly. Give us access to even more resources. And then keep firing. Look at that. He's lost access to his mines again. And another one's gone. So now he's got to build all the way around in order to uh, connect to that one. Which is probably not worth it. He's just trying so hard. He's wood. He's actually doing some like top tier wood spam here. Just to stay alive. Oh, he's got no more mines. So I can re-aim those now. Because there's no reason for me to, to, to fire up there. Because oh, there's nothing left at his resource platform. And he's sitting on a two mine economy right now. Which is not going to be enough. He's, if with only two mines, you can't outwood spam this many mortars. It just, you're, done, you're not gaining enough resources. The wood's just too expensive. And wood is cheap. So you know would make this even more di difficult for him to deal with? Add another layer of mortars. Why? Because I can. Alrighty. Let's go mortar, mortar, mortar. Uh, energy, please. Commander ability for additional energy. Can I fit this guy in here? No, can I fit him in here? I can fit this guy in here, though. Boom, boom. Ooh, he's got a sniper there. Maybe we should mortar that sniper. What do you guys think? I think 2E, 3E. And, oh, the second group of mortars is not aligned properly. Upgrade that for the additional resources. Because we are actually losing energy very slowly. There goes the sniper. I forgot to re-aim this top group. It needs a little bit less power. It's still doing damage because every time he tries to reconnect, these do hit it, but it's not good enough, I don't think. We need to hit proper where his core is. You will be on group. <laughs> You will be at this angle at 80%. So that's a little bit high. But it's fine. Because these will do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so you need to be aimed lower. 78% lower aim. Yes, there we go. 
I'm amazed he's managing to hang on. He's got some top tier wood spam here. Like, this is not an incompetent player. This is just someone who's lost control of the game. There's not a whole lot to do to come back to this. It's just very slow death. It wouldn't be a slow death if he wasn't so good at defending, but this guy's actually pretty good at defending, so... I must commend him. This will be the end here. And GG. And that's what I call some proper mortaring. Ah, I love these horizontal mortars, guys. Like, yes, please. But for now, we're going to have to wind down the episode here. So, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.